under attack. Stand up, fight back. What do we do? We're under attack. Stand up, fight back. What do we do? We're under attack. Stand up, fight back. Celebrate the massive achievements that workers have achieved over many, many years. Not just here in New South Wales, not just in Australia, but internationally. And you should all give yourselves a pat on the back for turning up today, remembering and reflecting on the struggles past, present and the future. There is not enough time for me to explain to you the horrors that we have been witnessing and experiencing for the last six and a half months of genocide, let alone 76 years of occupation. The last six and a half months, what we've seen from Israel has been nothing short of terrorism. 40,000 Palestinians massacred, 72% are women and children. They've targeted healthcare workers, they've targeted journalists, they've targeted workers on the ground, they have targeted civilians, and there is proof. And as we approach the 15th of May, we mark 76 years of brutal colonial occupation. In the, in the age of information, it is everyone's responsibility to learn about Palestine, to learn about history, to break through the Zionist propaganda that's been controlling the world order for the last 76 years. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. I've seen incredible union support over the last six and a half months, in particular from the MUA, in particular our comrade Paul Keating, but what I'm here to tell you today is it's not enough. It is not enough. We know that the establishments have tried to put workers on the fringe of society as if you guys don't have any power in, in, in our societies. But we know that's bullshit. You hold the power. You hold the power and you can say no to apartheid Israel. You can say no to, to any kind of work that is complicit in the genocide and occupation of Palestinians. You have the power to stand up and take a stance against the genocidal and apartheid state of Israel. A union and a government that does not care about doctors uncovering mass graves in Gaza does not care about us missing our lunch breaks and having poor pay rates. So, there are doctors patients being buried in mass graves in Gaza and the list goes on. They don't even have water. They do not have oxygen and electricity. So a government that does not care about that does not care about us. So free, free. Free, free. Free, free.